Hey, I got an idea. Remember that video about crawl spaces and protecting your confidence? It's another crawl space. What do you know? We've got this fascia. We've got this fascia. And try chia. And chia. Carpenter bees. Well, I'm back in the same crawl space and I won the job. I won the bid. So I got the next two days to go around and uh, do everything that I quoted for. So the first thing I'm going to do today is this door. There is something absolutely satisfying about installing a new door. And then as soon as you put on the new latch, it closes nicely. I couldn't ask for anything better. I mean, especially on the first, first go round. Gosh, I love that sound. <sighs> All right, guys, so in order to get to the little bee holes, can you see that right there? Little bee hole right there. So the thing is, is you can't just really put wood putty in it and call it a day because the bees will just come right back. So you have to actually replace the whole board, unfortunately. I kind of didn't really want to replace the board, but I feel like I feel like it'd be good just to go ahead and replace it. And since I quoted to replace it, it's actually a good thing that I quoted to replace it because once I remove the gutter, there's some rot right there on the end. And then following this way, there's some rot right here on the corner there. So I peeled back the gutter just a little bit there and that's gonna give me access right here in the center. And I'm not taking that part down because I'm just one guy. And so one guy putting a gutter back up is, it's not ideal, but it peels it back just enough so that I can get right here. This is adequate, that's adequate room. I'll be doing the same thing over here, just pulling the gutter back so I can replace this one board here. Now, as you can see, I got my pry bar in there to help pull this one back so I can get in here and replace this board here too. We found the culprit. I don't know how many bees are in there, but there's a bunch. So as you can see, this is discolored, but it's not it's not soft. And the thing about wood rot is once you get the water, once you get the source of water taken care of, the water penetration taken care of, then you fix the problem. Those bees were literally living up in the fascia. See, he's trying to find his home. And he can't find it no more. He'll go somewhere else. Go, go somewhere else. Move away. Go. That's why you have to replace the whole fascia board. And not just putty over the hole. Here's a, I got something in my in my face here I got caulk in my face here here's a good trick for you I'm replacing this fascia board way up here in the air can you tell that I'm pretty high look I'm even with the chimney there you go second story it's pretty high up here well you gotta screw on this fascia board and you got this gutter hanging so this is what I do pop it on my head and I push it up that way I can use one hand to hold the board and then I use my other hand to do my screws bam 
am. Well, I think this just proves my point as to why you need to replace the fascia board rather than uh, put putty or caulking into the bee holes. That one's still got a bee in it. Because it's got this... So... Because you see the here, it's got this putty in there, but, you know, the bees came right back because... Anyway, all right, it's the end of the day, and I'm done. Let's see a before and an after. Got that young door. And tcha, carpenter bees. Tcha, and try tcha. Try tcha. We've got this fascia. Got him. We've got this fascia. Yeah, boy!